time here in the Antarctic Peninsula and it's getting warmer. The sea ice is melting and with the longer, more intense daylight hours, the diatoms are starting to bloom. Diatoms take up energy from sunlight and turn it into energy that can be passed up the food web to organisms that cannot obtain their energy directly from the sun. These are juvenile Antarctic krill. They are about one year old. Krill live for six to eight years and can grow to approximately 60 millimeters in length. They are extremely abundant here along the Antarctic Peninsula and often occur in dense groups called aggregations. Krill feed on the diatoms that bloom in the springtime and are in turn preyed upon by many larger animals, including penguins and whales. The spring is also the time when Adelie penguins come to Torgerson Island and gather in rookeries for the start of the breeding season. In the first few weeks they compete with each other for mates and for the pebbles that they use to build their nests. As in ecosystems all over the world, there is a delicate balance and interconnection to life here. One change to the system can affect everything else. As scientists, one of our goals is to improve our understanding of the complexity of living things, and in so doing, help to protect and conserve these beautiful places. I'm Kim. Hi, I'm Domi. And we're here studying Antarctic Pro as part of the Palmer Station Long-Term Ecological Research Project. <laughs>